say a couple hundred square meters underneath the, the pen. That's where you'll see this big, thick layer of feces, you know, six, eight, ten feet deep sometimes. Um, and it depends on the site. Sometimes it's not so visible. There's not the, that big layer doesn't build up quite as fast and quite as thick. And the ocean can kind of distribute things around. But just because it's not all piled up in one site um, doesn't mean that it's, it's not having a very negative effect. Um, here we've seen massive algal blooms. They've had them in D.C. Chile's had them. Norway's had them. You just can't dump thousands of metric tons of oily fish pellets, feed pellets, into an area and not expect to have dramatic effects. So we've had dramatic blooms here of salts and tunicates that eat wild fish larvae. Um, because millions of fish were left to rot in cages here in Newfoundland. Well, um, a Harvard study recently showed that the, when they feed the feed pellets the way they do through these high air pressured systems in, in tubes, they shoot the pellets out into all the pens. There might be 15 pens on a site, a million plus fish, that um, the pe pellets chip up and break down as they fly through these, these tubes. And that results in pellet dust. And that pellet dust... Um, will travel many, many kilometers. So that neutrifies a whole coastal area. Um, on top of that, when they have mass mortality events like it's occurring right now in Newfoundland where millions of fish are dying in pens, um, there's a lot of times they're slow to, to, to remove those. So when we had a massive ISA outbreak from 2012 to 2014 here in Newfoundland, where over 70% of the fish died, um, we had my tens of miles of floating fat that buried the coastline in, in, in an inch thick layer of rancid fat, salmon fat, because the fish couldn't be taken to the pens fast enough. It was a mass die off. So hundreds of kilometers of coastline here were affected. Another study that was done in Chile not very long ago showed that 81% um, of all the bacteria that were sampled up to eight kilometers from the nearest net pen site were multi-antibiotic resistant. So to suggest that it's only just, you know, a couple of hundred square meters under the pen that um, for an ocean floor that gets affected, it's not really the case. 